Welcome back, guys. Uh, I'm very happy to announce that uh, Linux Lite has released their 2.8 beta, first beta. And I've been waiting for this to come out because Linux Lite is one of my all-time favorite distributions. I think uh, Jerry and the the uh, crew over at Linux Lite, they do a phenomenal job in preparing this distribution. And it's geared towards the uh, user who is coming from Windows. So pretty much everything they do is with that former or ex-Windows user in mind. Uh, and their intent is to make everything, the transition, as easy as possible and I believe they have done a terrific job achieving that goal. Now this is the 2.8. It is a beta. Um, I installed it and I'm happy to announce that I installed it on my Chromebook. So this is running <clears throat> on my Chromebook Acer C720. I have 4 gigs of RAM, 128 gig hard drive. Uh, I am using the camera uh, that is built into the Chromebook and that's why it's a little bit dark but um, as you can see it does a terrific job and I'm using my Logitech uh, USB headset plugged into a USB port on my Chromebook now this is the first release with the 3.19 kernel and the reason that makes a big difference is uh, with the Chromebook uh, if you're not running, I believe, at least 3.17, uh, you're not going to get some of your hardware to function, specifically the touchpad. The touchpad is very finicky, and the 3.19 kernel, which is what is included in the 2.8 beta of Linux Lite, that kernel is super, absolutely great for the Chromebook. Now, I install this and I have made no adjustments for hardware. Everything is running perfectly. As you can see the camera, I've got the USB headset plugged in, my trackpad is, is working wonderfully, no issues at all. It uh, recognized my Wi-Fi it loaded the correct drivers. Uh, I went through, if you look at the uh, welcome screen, let's see. Let's see if I can find that welcome screen. And uh, the reason I want to find the welcome screen is because Linux Lite they do a wonderful job welcoming the new user specifically as I said the user coming from Windows and so uh, when you boot up you see the welcome screen and it gives you all of the information that you need in order to get Win uh, uh, Linux Lite running the exactly the way you want it now let me let me find that uh, there it is so uh, as you can see when you first boot up you they recommend that you install the updates now I did that but there were no updates to install because uh, I think I'm probably one of the first people to download the beta um, they've got upgrading and light software. Now light software is <clears throat> an easy way to install a lot of the packages that you might uh, want to add to what's already included. And these are kind of the uh, greatest hits of Linux software. And <clears throat> as soon as my sources update you'll see the list that is available to you. So if I click on install software, it's going to bring up quite a comprehensive list of software that you can install with a click. Just check off what you want and click install. So they make it super easy 
to get all of the software that you need. And so I'll close that out. And <clears throat> when it t comes time to upgrade, there's an easy way to upgrade also within the same series. Now this is the final release in the 2.0 series. So this is 2.8. Next series will start with, I assume, 3.0. Now, preferred specs is one and a half gig processor and uh, about a gig of RAM. Um, minimum would be 512 megs of RAM. But that pretty much covers any any uh, system out there. As I said, I'm running this on a <clears throat> on a Chromebook. Okay, so we're going to close that out and we are going to take a look at the let's say light tweaks. So <clears throat> this is a list of utilities that you can use <clears throat> in order to uh, clean up your system. For example, auto remove packages, fix your boot, uh, set up a default web browser. So these are all utilities that you can use to make it easier to uh, maintain your system on a regular basis. And I am not going to do any of those right now. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, the help manual is right on the desktop, and Linux Lite <clears throat> has one of the best help manuals you will find, bar none, in the Linux, uh, in the Linux community. Uh, you can see that everything is covered. Start here, contents, install guide, languages, Updates, software, light software, networks, video drivers, sound, printers, user manager, customized themes, support, and glossary. So it is a extremely comprehensive software or Linux Lite operating manual. And so and it makes a big difference because when you install Linux Lite, especially if you're coming from Windows and this may be your first exposure to Linux, you need something that you can refer to to help get your feet wet, get your uh, system off the ground. And pretty much anything, any question that a new user would have is pretty much covered in here. Now, I'm gonna close that out. Now, if you can't find the answer to your question, just go online to the Linux Lite uh, community and they will be able to uh, help you. Here's the support forums. They've already got it as a link, as a shortcut, as a favorite on your Firefox browser. So if you click support forums and you click on installing Linux Lite, you'll find answers to most all of your questions. And they are a very, very helpful group. Um, and <clears throat> I was surprised when I first started using Linux Lite that my first few questions were answered by Jerry, the developer. And so you can't get much better than that. Jerry does a great job uh, and just a wonderful crew and a wonderful community at Linux Lite. So I can't speak highly enough of uh, the folks at Linux Lite and the distribution itself. Now this is the way it looks when you first boot up. Uh, I have installed uh, some of the utilities that I use, but I haven't placed them in the system tray yet. But I have no doubt that I'll have uh, no issues at all with that. Now if you want to, if you go, go into your settings, it's a normal XFCE uh, settings menu. And so you've got all of your uh, f configuration options. If you want to set up your firewall, which is highly recommended, you just put in your password and it's already running. The, the firewall is already enabled. 
So you're good to go right out of the box on your firewall. You can there's a light upgrade right on the menu. Uh, let's see. Preferred applications window manager tweaks. This is all standard XFCE configuration options. Let's take a look at the appearance. Now, out of the box, you've got Mediterranean light, Mediterranean white, Raleigh, and a new dark theme, uh, Zukit, whoa, dark reloaded. Icons are Fienza, which I use Fienza um, in most cases on, my, on the distributions that I install. And then you have fonts and settings. So let's take a look at the dark theme. And that's uh, a, an extremely nice dark theme. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave the, uh, the icons as Fienza. And then I'm going to take a look at the, the wallpaper that they include out of the box. Now, uh, Jerry has stated that for once 2.8 gets to the final release there will be a uh, group of new wallpapers added to the existing default wallpapers but as you can see they have quite a nice selection the one that I usually pick out of the box is uh, this one right here which is really nice so that is it for uh, Linux Lite 2.8 first beta release it is a beta so you want to test it um, separate from your daily operating system but if you do decide to download it and you run into any issues which I have not seen any so far but if you run into any particular software or hardware issues uh, jump onto the forum and let uh, Jerry know because that's the that's the purpose of the beta to find out what needs to be fixed and what needs to be improved. But right now, I'm very happy that uh, Linux Lite is running perfectly on my Chromebook, and I'm sure that it will also run fine on my desktop system. So that is it. Uh, guys, I uh, can't speak highly enough about Linux Lite. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.